are using your pull boy wrong. Probably the most controversial. This is not the face of a man who enjoys. Morning, Trainiacs. You are using your pull boy wrong. I know this for a fact because I use my pull boy wrong and I use my pull boy the way most people use a pull boy. And that tends to be a lot. So unless you have a swim coach that is like so anti pool toy, odds are you're probably using your pull boy wrong. It's a fact. So this little devil is probably the most controversial pieces of pool toy equipment that everyone has in their pool bag and on the pool deck. Off level, folks. People love them. I love them. A lot of folks that I swam with in Masters had to have these surgically removed over the years. It's a problem. The issue with it, as far as age group swimmers go, is that we tend not to come from a swimming background, so we have very sinky legs. We want to put a pull boy in there to fix that, but the pull boy is a crutch. It doesn't teach us how to have good swimming mechanics. So what it does is it just promotes our sinky legs. It actually encourages us to have more sinky legs. And then when we get out into a race, we have super sinky legs because we've been relying on this to keep our legs up to the surface of the water. But that's not to say that it's an awful piece of equipment. We've all got them in our bags here. Thing is, you got to know how to use them properly. So the one issue that you've got with this is, let's take that little band of death off, we'll get to that, is that it completely ignores the kick. And the kick is how you balance out your body. It's how you get your legs up close to the surface of the water. Hey, Chris. And while I say you shouldn't be kicking hard, you certainly need to kick enough that you get your legs up to the surface of the water and you've got a balanced swim position. Now, if you want to have some flotation so that you're not just dragging an anchor behind you, a better way to do that is with my trusted floaty pants. With floaty pants, you still get that flotation from the neoprene at the position that your pull boy would be in, but you're not completely ignoring your kit. Now, the second issue with the pull boy is that it can break the chain of the front of your body going all the way to the toes, functioning just side to side like a log floating down a river. Putting on a pull boy, it can basically just allow your legs to snake side to side while your body is churning and trying to pull it all. One way to fix that that's very easy that we use a ton is to get a snorkel so that you don't have to lift your head up to breathe, which a lot of people will do with their upper body, leaving their lower body stationary, and a band to tie your ankles together. Yeah, it's awful, but it works. And what that does is it creates one long chain from right from your head all the way to your toes and then you have to focus on just going side to side not wiggling at all not lifting your head and turning your arms over it allows you to focus on a proper catch this is then giving you an advantage not a disadvantage because you can isolate a certain part of your stroke properly and then overall this just in general promotes sinky legs it doesn't teach us how to become a better swimmer by raising our legs up to the surface of the water and reducing drag naturally. Lately, I've been talking about a drill that I've been doing, again, with a snorkel, totally different than the isolation one that I just talked about. It's called pressing the buoy. It's where you put the snorkel on and then you press your chest deep into the water, creating a seesaw effect so that as you press your chest close into the water, your legs come up. And those are a lot better ways to use a pole boy than how most people do it when just the swim gets too hard or they don't feel like kicking or they get tired. That is using the pole boy as a crutch, not a training tool. Now I mention this all the time, but I'm gonna mention it to anyone who's missed it. If you want a full swim drill program series that allowed me to go from struggling to swim the length of a pool, I kid you not, I could barely do it, to being able to complete a 37 kilometer open water marathon swim and a 27 kilometer open water marathon swim, go to triathlonterran.com forward slash swim drill program. It's a free 15 drill swim series and these are the drills that allowed me to not drown. Now I gotta go swim, I'm so late. Things I do for you.
this is not the face of a man who enjoys max 50s on two minutes. No.